Hey everybody, I'm TJ Miller from Action Reality Martial Arts. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, dynamic stretching routine that I like to do for the legs. Uh, we get a lot of tension that we carry in our hamstrings in life, and that can lead to a lot of back pain, neck pain, especially if you're somebody who sits a lot at a desk. So this will kind of help you out. Dynamic stress stretching also uh, really helps you prepare your body for those explosive movements in martial arts and uh, resist injury a little bit because it gets your body used to it. It'll also help you kind of relax when your body's getting those points of maximum stretching instead of, because it's the tension that actually keeps you from being flexible. So we're going to start with some rising kicks and then go through some other ones to kind of go through the full range of motion for the ball and socket joint and also for the various muscles around the legs. So enjoy. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you like it. And also feel free to leave us some comments or send us an email at actionjkd.com. So we're going to start with front leg rising kicks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the leg up till I feel it. And we're going to do that 10 times. Also, try to keep the hands up. I'm just keeping my, my legs straight throughout my range of motion. Good. Then we switch feet. And once in a while, so this is also a good way to practice keeping your, keeping your hands up. A lot of people have a tendency to drop their hands when they kick. Doing these stretches without somebody trying to hit you is a good way to keep your balance. Practice keeping the hands up the whole time. That was front leg rising kicks. We're going to move on to uh, dynamic stretching after the side for a side kick. Okay, we're going to move on to rising legs to the side. This will help you with the uh, flexibility for your side kick. Uh, with all these, by the way, I didn't mention it, but if you need to hang on to something, you can. Okay, so with this one, again, I'm going to try to keep my hands up. I'm going to bring my leg kind of across, and I'm going to lift my leg straight to the side. Okay, and we'll switch feet. You bounce a little bit of weight. That's rising legs to the side. All right, now we're going to kick across the body. This is kind of the same kind of motion we'd have for our oblique kick. So I'm going to start here and I rise the leg across. I'm trying to keep my toe pointed out as much as I can and bring that straight up in front. And we switch to the left. And that is an oblique kick stretch. Okay, final one. This will complete our range of motion. So we basically did rising kicks out of the front. We rose to the side, we rose across this way. We're going to now come to the back. So remember on all of these, these are not actual kicks. You don't really want to usually do these in a real fight. Uh, but it's basically we are stretching in various ways. This one's actually going to stretch your quad a little bit. So I'm going here, and I'm going to swing the leg up to the back. I'm trying to keep my back straight, so then I'm focusing my stretch on the leg. So instead of coming here and swinging down, I'm going to keep my body erect as much as I can and just bring that up to the back. If you're doing a real kick, you want to make sure you're looking wherever you're kicking. Right now, because I'm just doing a stretch, I am trying to focus on keeping my hands up because that, that also, I try to cross train skills, so pretty much everything I'm doing in the beginning, I'm thinking about keeping my hands up because that is one of the hardest skills to get in the beginning when you're a beginning fighter. One of the things I will practice one day is my ability to count how many things I did when I'm showing you guys these videos, because I have no idea how many we've done so far. I'm trying to do extra, because it always bugs me when I count through when I'm watching it, and I've done less than I told you guys to do. So, just 
a fact about me. I'm ADD. And switch feet. My back's not gonna stay perfectly straight, but as much as I can. And it's okay if you look a little silly. I'm sure I do. Okay. Uh, at the end of that, I would actually go back and do another round of the rising kicks. I usually do a couple of those, and I try to throw those in throughout my day as well. Because like I said, keeping those hamstrings flexible and loose is going to help you with the quality of the rest of your life uh, for better aging, less soreness as you grow older, that kind of stuff. So happy training, everybody. Uh, you can throw those uh, stretches in as a workout by itself or just throw it in at the end of a regular workout that you get going on. And it'll really help you. You'll start seeing more explosiveness and flexibility if you start doing that on a regular basis, at least three four times a week. Everybody, happy training, and we'll see you next time.